my name is Mr. Matthews. I'm just going to go through chemistry with you and what we have at Chichester High School. What the course looks like, show you around my lab, um, show you one of our classic experiments and have a look at what is going on. Uh, if you do have any questions at the end of this, please can you email myself or Miss Gold or Mr. Rake, that's P Matthews at chs-tcat.org. I'm going to talk you through um, a PowerPoint. Now, at Chichester High School, we are offering chemistry at A-level. So the first question we have is often, why should you study chemistry as an A-level? And there are lots and lots of different reasons. The main one is to think about where you want to go after um, sixth form. Are you looking to go to university? Are you looking to go into the wider world of work? Are you going into a degree choice? Uh, are you thinking of a chemistry career? So obviously, hoping many people will be interested in the chemistry types of careers. And these are a range of different things that we have. Chemistry is often seen as one of the subjects which is most versatile. You could go in for something from being food engineering, okay, looking at the different types of calories and chemicals in different food, designing different food products all the way up to looking at oils working with oil rigs working on um, production of plastics to making drugs for the pharmaceutical industry making new cures for cancer or for any of those are into there um, the world of chemistry is really up to you um, making metals for cars there's very very few jobs that it doesn't apply to at some production level then if you don't want to be a chemist, what happens actually then? There's not everybody that takes chemistry A level, wants to continue on with chemistry. So what are the skill sets that you're going to get for studying chemistry A level? Well, it's very similar to many other um, science A levels in the fact that it gives you a wide range of skills from numeracy to being able to write scientifically to problem solving, following instructions, working with risks. There's a wide range of skills. Chemistry is often considered to be one of the harder subjects. Um, it depends on very much how your mind works. Are you analytical? Are you problem solving? Are you methodical in your work? Any of these approaches will make you a good chemistry and chemist and will give you some good uh, results. We are looking for students who have got a level five minimum, but ideally students who perform best work at level six when the GCSE and really your math score is as good as indicator as your science on your success. So practical skills, absolutely a must, okay? working with different kinds of chemicals, uh, looking at the risks of those, working safely, problem solving. So at the High School, we offer AQA chemistry. We offer that as either an AS or as a full A level. There are three options here. Many students will start in year 12 and they will continue through the middle course and just take A level exams at the end. There is no midterm exam there. We do have internal. Some students do prefer to sit an AS. We have that option. We have students who uh, just carry on for the year 12 and then don't continue with us for the year 13. Missing a little bit, I'm sure, but that's for them. There is some students that decide to take a test at the end of year 12, bank that, see how they've done, and then continue with the year 13. That gives them then the opportunity, if the year 13 isn't working out, for them to consolidate with some results. So there's a wide range of different topics. We actually split it down in our school to two different teachers. You have myself and you have Mrs. Golds. Uh, myself, then we look at, I look at more the organic chemistry. So you can look there. I'm going to talk to you about alkanes and alkenes and alcohols. I'm looking more at the therapeutical side, the biological molecules and how we make, synthesize and uh, identify those chemicals. Miss Goltz is more the inorganic chemistry. She loves playing around with the numbers, looking at rates of equations, looking at the amounts of chemicals and all those types of things there. We share a little bit on the physical. 
currently I'm teaching a bit on the bonding. In A level, okay, again, we split it down into two main areas. We deal with the organic side and we have the inorganic side and we share a little bit of this physical properties between us, okay? So a wide range of um, topics that would be very, very useful that you would go on to develop these at um, degree level. So the assessment of the course, the assessment is by um, two means. At AS, there's only two papers. At A level, there are three papers. It's broken down into three exam papers. Each of these are two hours long. Okay. And the first paper deals with more the inorganic chemistry. That's year 12 and year 13 inorganic chemistry. The year, the paper two is the organic chemistry. Okay. And the paper three is basically absolutely anything and everything. And that's one of my favorite papers because it literally throws in any, every and everywhere paper. And often is from outside of the course material in extent for um, examples and scenarios. I've often picked up the paper three myself and go, oh, that's interesting. And then they look at the questions and try and relevant the skills. Um, there's a range of short answer, long answer, and the most important is this practical. In the AS, you don't have to worry about the practical skills. You'll still do five or six experiments, which will be written up, but you're not assessed on their practical skill. At A level, two year course, practical skills, and you will get a practical endorsement. So that basically means that you get a separate bit of paper which says you have completed the practical skills, and then the assessment of those practical skills will come up in the paper. Okay, so I just wanted you to have a look at now life at Chichester High School. So I'm just gonna turn off my PowerPoint and stop sharing. I come back to that in a minute. So life at Chichester High School. I'm just going to dismiss my background as well so that you can see a little bit more around our lab and have a look at that. So now you should be able to see the lab. Okay, so looking around one of our labs, the classic lab that you can see. And you should be able to see the practical here. So we've got our practical equipment there. You can see a um, distillation, a little experiment here. You can see the chemicals there. And as we shake that, you can see the colour changes. So this is an oxidation reaction. It involves indigo calming. And what is literally happening, you have sodium uh, hydroxide and glucose and a dye. As the dye to be you and next year. I hope that we get to see you. If you do have any questions, please can you speak to, to your science teacher, speak to myself, Mr. Matthews, Miss Galt. Okay, there are science uh, chemistry teachers, Mr. X, our head of um, chemistry, or to Miss Smith, who I'm sure will be able to answer nearly any of your questions. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you have a pleasant evening. <laughs>